Okay, so once you imported this into Lightroom, you're going to want to click on Develop. And uh, just work our way down here. So um, just, you usually want to warm up the temperature for these type of images if you're working on like an outside image of cold, dark, sadness kind of thing. Probably going to want to make it cooler and uh, stuff so um depending what you want for the tint probably don't want it tint it more towards the green if you're a guy because um you don't want a pink, pink tint when you're a guy right but if I was doing a girl I would probably tint it pink so um next is exposure gonna wanna brighten that up a bit maybe um point one, two, out there. Cover, you can bump up a little for the light. Uh, maybe just a little blacks. At least you maybe put the blacks on one. At least you use contrast instead of blacks. But, uh, yeah. So, um, up the maybe five contrast add a little bit here. This gives the image a little bit more depth. So, um, clarity. I don't really like the effect of clarity. It's kind of like a... You've seen this effect before, right? It's unprofessional. And, um... Kind of what picnic users do. But maybe pretty... Well, too, I know it's like barely anything. Vibrance, you can do a little saturation, maybe not so much. Curves or tone curves. So, um, highlights you want to bump up, lights you want to bump up. Well, it all depends on your image, but just saying, darks, maybe a little bit, and shadows. And, uh, you, you can um, adjust this. You can see my lips are turning. Uh, maybe a little bit down there. The this is you adjust the skin tone. I want it up. And, uh, let's play with these settings. Depending on uh, what you're wearing, you might want to play around. So, um, saturation. I usually don't want your lips dark, you usually want them lighter. I want your face lighter. Make everything bright in this image. But mainly. Split toning you don't really have to do, but you can if you want, so I usually bump up the saturation to a lot. And for the highlights. I want to click on this here, oops, maybe give it a nice brown. Then lower the saturation. Same thing for this, maybe a more yellow, greeny color. And lower the saturation. I know it's like barely anything, but hey, let's see if it actually does anything. I can see a little bit, but um, too much. So for sharpening, you can do this if you want. Uh, 
I would like to start as um, start sharpening and um, play with the detail and stuff. And what you want to do is go to the masking and uh, you want to just do it so it outlines kind of everything and not too much detail. So that looks good. Then for the noise reduction, I usually like to put it on 20. Same for the color. And uh, that usually gives the picture a nice soft, kind of like a soft focus thing. And um, for the camera calibration, I want to just see what's which way is uh, better for you uh, I like it more on this side I think and these you really don't have to play with I usually do um, just to have fun it's really not necessary to and of course you can figure out what you want here just go like this. So next, this is optional too. And uh, you just, I'm just gonna enchant the eyes here. So just pick eyes to chance from the list of options there. And uh, you wanna go 8 1 and just click on your eye. And, uh, make a um, kind of like this kind of effect here kind of like spikes from the middle that's how my eye is anyway then uh, just like that. All right. and um, same thing to the other eye You can just hold Alt and just make sure you don't get any in the pupil or anywhere you don't want. Okay. Oops. And um, next, you wanna. kind of make a new one and then make it negative 0.2 go back in and you want to make the outside edge here dark just make sure you don't get too much here Same thing with the other, and you can adjust these. This doesn't really need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see how that looks. There we go, now my eyes really pop. And, um, I think that's about it for this image. You can go um, press Y and you can see the before and after shots. I'll show you it in the uh, full screen. Oops. Sorry, I'm still thinking after effects here. Hold the space bar and move it. You don't have to. In the Lightroom. So, um, this is it. Let's see here. Yeah. So that looks good. That's it for this. Um let's just go export. Export. And it goes period text clear. That's it. So um 
See you around soon. Uh, here are the pictures. Put them up in a second. Uh, thanks for watching.